Hey, real quick. So I heard they're putting a restaurant on the moon. Yeah, it's got great food, but terrible atmosphere. We'll get started here shortly. That's for you, A2. You want it to go? All right. Good afternoon, PE 450. All right. If you don't know me, I'm Captain Michael Miner. <clears throat> I'm currently the, thank you, thank you, the instructor for the A2 section this round, uh, instructor in the Department of Physical Education. Today, I have the distinct pleasure of hosting today's PE 450 lecture. Today's lecture is taking a different uh, form as we welcome a panel of experts you see here on the screen and leaders from the 22nd Chemical Battalion at Fort Bliss, Texas. All right, they're here to provide their insights into the implementation of the Holistic Health and Fitness Program within the 1st Armored Division Sustainment Brigade and 22nd Chemi Chemical Battalion. So without further ado, let's introduce our panelists. We have Coach Daniel Borwick. He's the lead strength coach for the 1st Armored Division Sustainment Brigade. He's attached to the 22nd Chemical Battalion. We have Captain James Kerrigan. Company commander, HHC, 22nd Chem Battalion. Fun fact, we actually served together in 110th. I believe he was a brand new team leader uh, while I was in company command. So great to see you again, James. We also have Captain Daniel Saltzman. He's the company commander of 44th uh, Chem Company, Hazard Response. And Captain Ian Hadley, company commander, 46th Chem Company, tech technical es escort. I would ask that our panelists take a moment to introduce themselves provide their background, uh, as well as a quick snapshot of their experience so far with H2F. So coach, if you would uh, kick us off.
Thank you, Coach. And, sir, I apologize. I didn't see you on the screen there. We got Lieutenant Colonel Davis. He is the commander of 22nd Cam Battalion. So, uh, Captain Kerrigan, uh, can you give a little intro? Thank you. Uh, Captain Saltzman. Thank you. And then finally, Captain Hadley. Thank you very much. All right, so at this time, uh, we requested questions from uh, the course prior to with the survey. So we'll present a couple of those questions to our panelists, uh, starting with the Army officers. How have you developed a culture within your formation that values human performance optimization?
Thank you, gentlemen. Coach, for you, what roles do the H2F professionals in a resource brigade fill? What positions do you foresee a new platoon, le platoon leader interfacing with the most? And how should they go about approaching that relationship?
Gemma, can you still hear us? We just lost audio from you all for a bit. Thank you, Coach. One more question for the uh, officers before we open up for questions from the audience. So, gentlemen, have you seen an improvement in mental health within your formation? Do you believe having H2F assets on your team has contributed to any improvement you have seen? And is there possibly any measurable data to support that? Thank you, sir. All right, so now we'd like to open up to any of the cadets here in person. We have a microphone in the middle. If you come up to ask a question, please face back towards the camera uh, so that everybody can see who's speaking. And of course, we're open to our instructors in the back as well, if you all have any questions. Someone's got to come up first. We're giving out points now in the course to ask questions, sir. Sometimes you just got to incentivize behaviors. There we go. Thank you, Bo. And that's an A2. Gentlemen and coach, uh, cadet, kite, uh, company H2, how often do you see um, underdeveloped soldiers coming in uh, right after AIT?
Thank you. Thank you. There we go. Afternoon, gentlemen, Cadet Hendricks. I wanted to know uh, at what level the training plans are made, whether it be company or platoon, and then how H2F is involved in that, whether there's collaboration to ultimately achieve the goals of the unit. Thank you, gentlemen.
Uh, gentlemen and coach Cadet Garcia, I was wondering, um, we've been talking a lot about the um, physical component of H2F, but we just got a brief about the um, sleep readiness component. So how does H2F within the um, company help soldiers that are dealing with um, sleep issues such as insomnia, which is very common within the Army?
Thank you. Good afternoon, gentlemen. My name is Kenneth Knowlton from Company H1. Uh, given that spiritual readiness is a very broad and potentially very personal uh, personal category of readiness, how can we re reinforce its importance at the unit level without maybe stepping on people's boundaries? All right, thank you, gentlemen. Any other questions from the audience? Gentlemen, thanks for joining us. Major Caitlin Withenbury, um, one of the instructors here in DPE. What kind of facilities and equipment do you have at both the company and battalion level so you can give some perspective to these cadets that work out in several Division One? multi-million dollar facilities. What do you have at your disposal as a brand new platoon leader for your formation most days of the week?
Thank you very much. All right, sir, thank you. Uh, if, do we have any more questions from the audience? All right, so sir, I'll put you on the spot if you wouldn't mind, have you close out. So the cadets in the room here are approximately one year away from graduating and heading to Bullock and going out to their formations. So as a battalion commander, do you have any words that you'd like to share with them on how they should be prepared when they leave here, uh, whether it's in the PRT H2F perspective or any other context, sir? Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, gentlemen. Really appreciate you uh, hopping on this call and serving on our panel with us. I, I took a lot away from this. I'm sure the cadets did as well. Uh, it was really nice to hear about what uh, Resource Brigade has, what type of resources are available, kind of give them a glimpse into, uh, and they can start planning already a year out uh, what they might have at their disposal. As many of us instructors who teach this class, uh, we left Forcecom and went to grad school and came here before we started seeing those things. So it was really helpful to hear from those that are actually out there using the resources. So, sir, thank you, everyone. Have a great afternoon. Set the standard, maintain the standard. Guardian, sir.